What is good YouTube and welcome back to the channel, JD here with yet another video for you guys. So it really seems like right now fans of New Balance cannot get enough of the 2002R, easily one of the most popular New Balance models right now. The hype on this model was kicked off last year with the release of the protection pack and since then we have seen even general release colorway sellout. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about these shoes which I believe are probably the best general release colorway to release so far. I'll be getting into the New Balance 2002R in the Phantom colorway. So welcome back to all of my long-term viewers and if you are new here, my name is Josh and I do sneaker reviews and all types of other sneaker content. If that is something you're looking for, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm dropping at least three videos a week and while you're at it, make sure you check out my sneaker podcast as well, the Kickback Pod available on Spotify and Apple Music. And last but not the least, check out my Instagram, I'm very active on there as well. So let us get into these shoes, the New Balance 2002R in the Phantom colorway. Recently, we saw the release of the Higher Learning Pack. It comprised of four different colorways of the 2002R, all made with some pretty high quality suede. And I figured that those would be the best general release 2002Rs to drop this year. That was of course before my eyes landed on this pair right here, the Phantom colorway. This colorway can be described as a charcoal gray colorway, a pretty dark gray, almost a black color. I noticed that on some websites they are in fact calling this the black colorway, but in hand it's definitely much more of a dark gray. And the quality on this, just as good as you would expect some super soft suede here. I'm loving this suede. I think I kind of like the suede even more than the higher learning pack. Like I had that night watch green pair. The suede on this pair feels even softer. You also get this beautiful contrasting aged looking midsole. I'm definitely a fan of the aged looking soles. And on this particular colorway, I think it looks great. You also get the N logo done in silver and a little bit of silver at the back of the shoe as well. You also get some white laces to go along with this pair. I think this pair would have probably looked better with some cream laces, which you can of course get from my own site, Elevate Laces. I will leave that link in the description. I threw them on my protection pack Phantom colorway and I thought it was a pretty good look. I mean, really besides the protection pack, besides maybe the Salehi colorways, this pair right here might just be the best general release colorway. It's an everyday shoe, the type of color way that would go with most outfits. Let me know down in the comments if you guys agree or if you think there is another colorway that's even better. Every time I review a pair of the 2002R, I always like to stress on the fact that this is for me one of the most comfortable New Balance models out there. You're getting the same level of comfort as some more expensive New Balance models like the 900 pairs. At least it feels that way on feet. But I gotta say sizing on this particular pair is a bit weird compared to the protection pack. I find this pair to be slightly longer in the toe box area as you can see see here there is a bit more room in the toe area compared to my protection pack so normally I would say go true to size in the 2002 R but with this pair I think you can probably go half a size down in most other new balance models like the 992s the 990s I fit comfortably in a half size down however in the 2002 R I do like to go true to size but now with this pair this pair I think you can go half a size down let's have a look at prices right now on this particular colorway I gotta say they are pretty high compared to most most other 2002R general release pairs. Most sizes are going for well over 200. I feel like a lot of that has to do with the fact that this particular colorway hasn't released in too many stores yet. So there's just not a lot of supply out there right now. I managed to get this from some random store in the UK. This colorway hasn't even released yet where I live in Germany. And I believe some shops got them in the US, although I'm not entirely sure. So I do think the prices on this colorway are gonna start coming down as more and more pairs enter the market. Overall, the 2002 R in the Phantom or black gray colorway, are these a cop or a drop? To keep it simple, yes, I absolutely do think these are a cop. This is a super comfortable shoe, very good quality as well. And in terms of colorways, you already know you will get quite a lot of use out of this pair. Thank you so much for watching this video. And once again, if you found it useful, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You can stick around for the group chat if you want. If not, it's all good. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yo, what's up, man? Welcome to the group chat. The video after the video for the top 
20% of you viewers out on this channel, the very best viewers. So the topic for today is this, something that I've dealt with for the last couple of years now, and that is the struggle of being a New Balance fan in Europe. Because in Europe, the retail prices of New Balance is just so much higher than the United States. Not on the 2002 R's because these are made in Vietnam, so we don't have to deal with those crazy import fees. But for example, the 900 series, they retail for about 180, I believe in the US. However, in Europe, most pairs go for around 220 and that's 220 euros. So if you convert that to USD, that's around 240 right now. So it's a lot higher and it sucks. Most recently, I was looking at the release of the Emilion Door 991s that just came out and I had a look at the retail price and I was pretty shocked to see this number 295 euros. That is just an insane amount. And what I don't get, especially about the 991s is that to my knowledge, they're made in the UK, which I know they Brexited, so it's not exactly like free trade or anything. But still, how expensive could it be to get shoes from the UK into Europe? I fly to the UK all the time, man, and I pay a round trip flight for less than 50 euros. Shout out Ryanair, by the way. I don't know, these import fees are kind of crazy. It is the struggle of being a New Balance fan in Europe. Let me know in the comments if any of you guys feel the same pain. And if you are from the US, then good for you. You guys are very lucky. And and thank you so much for sticking around for this part of the video. I will catch you guys next time. Peace.